are looking at the Park Place Homes Rink inside the Midland Civic Arena. It is the final day of January as we welcome you to MCTV and MPSTV's coverage of high school hockey as the HH Dow High Chargers play host to the Midland High Chemics. Here tonight it is round number two, the second meeting during the regular season for these two esteemed programs. We welcome you inside the Midland Civic Arena alongside Northwood hockey coach Mike Vesna. My name is Jason Harper. And Mike, we've got the rematch here tonight between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. The first time they met was very early in the season. Now we're in the last quarter of the season. A lot of things have changed. A lot of things will remain the same. This is a game where both of these teams are looking for that momentum headed towards the end of the season. Oh, without a doubt, not only do you want the momentum, but let's face it, you got the bragging rights to the city of Midland because this is the game that counts. This is the Saginaw Valley matchup, and both of these teams come in right in the mix of the Saginaw Valley. The Midland High Chemics coming in overall with a 7-10-1 record. They are 2-2 two two in the Saginaw Valley. The Dow High Chargers 10-6. They are 2-1 and one in the Saginaw Valley. So in the terms of the standings, everybody's chasing Flint Powers, but this is a big game. Well, without a doubt, like you said, it's the momentum. But it's also the confidence builder. You know, whoever wins this game is going to be a little more confidence heading into the postseason. The Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers, both of these teams are, uh, as we mentioned, looking for that momentum. The Midland High Chemics uh, coming off a game out of town over the weekend. This is a team that is playing good hockey under first-year coach Steve Witt. But this is a team that has not reached that potential that Steve wants. He's kind of disappointed that they only have seven wins because they're playing good hockey. Well, you know, and that's part of the reason that this game's important is it, it's a winning culture. Expect to win when you come to the rink, not guessing whether or not you're going to win or lose. And I think that's one thing Coach Week's trying to do is he's trying to make them know that if you guys show up, you play hard, you don't take stupid penalties, you don't make selfish mistakes, good things will be, you know, happening and you'll be rewarded when you work hard. Yeah, the Midland High Kimmicks have a very strong first line. That is one of the concerns of Dow High coach Dick Blazy, the veteran coach coming in off of a win against Mount Pleasant last Friday. This is a Dow High Charger team that if Midland commits those penalties that Steve Witt doesn't want to see, this is a Charger team with an extremely strong power play. Well, their power play has proven to be successful just from their past games, and, and you're right. You know, Midland, you, you got to keep your, your energy under control, but you, you stay out of that penalty box, and Dow High's power play won't be affected. We'll find out uh, who is going to have the uh, the advantage early on in this game. As, uh, as it was kind of customary in, in a high school event, Mike, that, you know, that first couple moments of the game, that feeling out process, but whoever can get that momentum early on tends to see have a, uh, will keep that momentum. Yeah, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a, a goal. I mean, the first big hits, the first couple two-on-one attacks, the first couple, you know, rapid shots, whoever gets the momentum early is going to put the other team back on its heels. It's, it's who can minimize those lulls that's going to, you know, prove to be victorious today. Taking a look at the uh, Midland High Chemics as they huddle around their coach Steve Wedd. Midland High wearing uh, brand new uniforms. They've been wearing them for uh, a little over a month, but they did not have them our last broadcast, so this is our first chance to see the uh, the new uniforms of the uh, Midland High Chemics as they prepare to uh, take on the Dow High Chargers. And right now, we are going to turn things over to our public address announcer in just a couple of moments, find out the uh, starting lineups, and get ready for high school hockey beginning a very busy February here on MCTV and MPS Sports. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Midland Civic Arena for tonight's game between Long Time Rivals, the Midland Chemics, and the Dow Chargers. Here are tonight's starting lineups beginning with Midland. Head coach, Steve Wood. The forwards, number five, Brendan Witt. Number six, Tyler Richard. Head coach, 
take place. The forwards, number six, Brendan Sanders. Number 13, Casey Lou. Number 22, Shane Asa. On the fence, number 15, Joey Johnson. Jeremy Slazer. Now please rise and move your hats and caps for the playing of our national anthem performed by the Downline Charger Band. rendition of the national anthem as we are set to go high school hockey on MCTV Jason Harper Mike Vesna and a great crew of staff and volunteers from MCTV bringing you this broadcast here tonight the uh, Chemex and the Chargers these two teams know each other well the two coaches know each other extremely well so Vesna are there really any uh, keys to tonight's game well I think you know we like to call it controlled anxiety Whoever can come out with the most passion, the most aggressive forecheck, but yet keeping those emotions under control is going to be victorious. And that, that includes staying out of the penalty box. Remember, uh, last time we played, Dow ended up with two five-minute majors. Midland High was not able to really take advantage of that too much. But Dow, on the other hand, has really seemed to fine-tune their power play. So minimize your mistakes, keep your anxiety at a high level, but just keep it under control. The men in stripes, Justin Shaner and Ryan Coletto are the ones with the bands around their shoulders. And uh, Mark Willett and Joe Kanopic will be the linesmen. Four officials, which is something that the MHFAA is experimenting with this year, expected to be the norm come next year. The Kimmicks wearing uh, gold. The Dow High Chargers wearing white. And right off the bat, they're going to test out the uh, Dow High goalie, Jeremy Slaser, the Starters for the Dow High Chargers, Brendan Sanders, Casey LaRue, Joey Johnson, John Byerjean, and Shane Astrike. Not a senior among the starters, including the starting goalie, Jeremy Slazer, who is just a junior for the Dow High Chargers. The Midland High Chemics, Brendan Witt, Tyler Pritchett, Nathan Witt, Luke Trombley, and Greg Landis. Liam Grady is starting in goal for the Midland High Chemics. He is also a junior. So both of these teams relatively young as we are just underway with the contest. The Midland High Chemics trying to send it around the boards, trying to work it out of their own zone. They do in the neutral ice briefly. Midland High will look to uh, set things up as they pass it out over to Tyler Pritchard right in front of the Midland High boards. Both teams making some early line changes. Chargers with a breakaway. Casey LaRue across the blue line. Shot from the blue line, able to be handled by the Midland goalie, Grady. Charger centering pass, nicely done. Was looking for Alc Newton across the middle on successful in that attempt. And Brendan Witt will send it back across. And the Midland High Chemics will dump it so they can make a line change. Took a weird bounce off of the boards. Almost uh, tested Jeremy Slaser again. 
First time these two teams met, Dow High went with Seamus Belial in net. This time, Slacer getting the start for the Chargers. Dow High into neutral life, dropping it down towards the corner is Nathan Painter, the senior. Hit into the boards by the Midland High defenseman. No whistles in the first two and a half minutes. Or one and a half minutes of this contest. Midland High behind their own net, Noah Eller. His pass ends up being intercepted by Brennan Holbrook, the senior, with a little bit of a uh, power movement, ends up taking down one of the players. Looking to go across the uh, middle, across the blue line, now back across the middle. Midland High will keep it in play with Brendan Witt. Witt, one of the top scorers on this Midland High team. He is one of the few seniors playing in the contest here tonight. Well, Witt, Landis, and uh, Trombley, three seniors that I think you're going to see a lot of ice time tonight for Midland High. Ryan Flint scoring chance and the save made by Grady. Flint is just a junior for the Dow High Chargers. Had the real first uh, scoring opportunity for Dow High. 14 and a half minutes to play. Just underway. Kimmich and the Chargers round number two here at the Park Place Homes Rink. Down to the corner. Chargers able to clear and a breakaway for the Dow High Chargers. If he can catch up to the puck, Shane F striking. The stop made, rebound, another stop made. Brendan Sanders coming up with the stop. And Liam Grady doing a nice job in that. Shane F strike, who had four goals against Mount Pleasant, had a great scoring chance. Yeah, and even a second chance opportunity by Sanders. Just couldn't get it up into the upper net. Great opportunity for Dow. Midland High will clear it all the way into the glove of Jeremy Slacer, who easily stops that one as the teams go for a line change. Chargers again trying to use a little bit of speed to their advantage as Nathan Painter will bring it in. And now the Midland High gimmicks will come back the other way, bouncing and attempting to bounce it off the glass. Midland High crossing the blue line in the far corner. Brendan Witt looking for somebody across the middle. And the shot made by Matt Gross uh, ends up going off the shoulder of Slacer. Yeah, great scoring opportunity right there. Nice save by Slacer. Working into the corner. Chargers trying to clear it out, and they do. The Midland High Chemics will have to regroup and get back on side before they can attempt anything else. They're still offside, so the Dow High Chargers will have a chance to set up a little bit of an offense, and they tried to go right across the middle. Could not do it, and the icing will bring the puck down into the Dow High zone. 12.53 to go here in the first period. No score, Kimmich and Chargers. Yeah, both goalies tested early, a little bit early on. Um, Grady, I think, coming up with the big save on the breakaway. Not only was it the, the initial save, but the second chance opportunity by Sanders. So right now, Grady keeping Midland High with this thing at zero. Well, that was a nice little run, too. No whistles for quite a while. Shot from the blue line taken by Luke Trombley, but a kick save made by Slacer. Centering it up again, if nobody there, and they'll float all the way down. The Midland High gimmicks. Liam Grady tried to work it out of the corner, and they do back in the neutral zone. Chargers with a shot from the, the almost near the red line. Yeah, they went in outside, so it wouldn't have counted if they scored, but Dow High back on side. 12-20 on the clock. Both of these teams have had a couple of scoring chances early on. And now we've got a offsides against the Chemex. Yeah, like you said, both squads have a couple scoring opportunities so far. You haven't really uh, felt that, that motivational moment. You haven't seen that big hit. You haven't really seen that big slap shot. So early on, both teams just playing it safe. Face off won by the Chemex. Dumping it down into the Dow High zone. Kimmich's not really putting too much pressure on, and the Dow High Chargers will work it out. If you had to go with a speed advantage, I think it's the Chargers who try to work it in to center it up, but the Kimmich will bring it back in the other direction. Carson Crinsline was looking ahead, trying to find Sarine. Now the Chargers come back the opposite way with Casey LaRue, but LaRue won't get his shot off, and some bodies crashing into the net. Speed-wise, I think Dow may have the advantage, but uh, physicality-wise, it may be Midland. Yeah, absolutely. Dow High, even the last game, you know, they showed their speed 
in well. Uh, Midland, I thought, controlled out in front of Dow's net a little bit better. Noticing early on, um, Kresline, a senior, normally playing defense. They've got him up on that second line right wing right now. Curious to see how that pans out down the stretch. Face off won by the Chargers. Josh Storr, his shot doesn't get through. The Midland High defense blocking that. Nathan Witt, just a freshman, getting the block. He also got the start for the Midland High Chemics. Again, Chargers trying to center it up, but knocked away by the defense. Here's Storer again, and that one goes in for a Charger goal. Yeah, Josh Storer just throw that puck on net from the point, and good things happen. Somehow, I think that puck got redirected. Lim Grady, I don't even think he saw that thing with all that traffic out front. But I tell you what, you throw it on the puck, good things will happen. I'll be curious to find out if that was deflected or not. Josh Storer had the first shot, but I, I don't Yeah, know it sure that. looked like it hit some shin pads. Let's take a look here on this replay. You're going to see a nice shot from Josh Storer. Somebody standing out front. Oh, 22. Did he, uh, did he Shane Estrike, did he get a little piece of that? We'll see what they, who they award it to. We'll find out. Either way, the Dow High Chargers have a 1-0 lead. They're going to give it to Josh Storer. So they're going to say that it was not deflected, although uh, I'm not sure replay may prove otherwise. But nonetheless, Storer is going to get the credit for the goal for the Dow High Chargers. A 1-0 lead for the Chargers. 11 minutes to play here in the first period. Whether it was deflected or not deflected, Vesley Storer had a great shot. Well, it was a great shot, and also he, he saw there's a lot of traffic up front. Liam Grady couldn't see that puck clean. By the time he found it, it was too late. It was in the net. We talked about net presence from Midland High in front of Dow's goalie. Well, right there, Dow with the advantage. Chargers with an early 1-0 lead. Dow High is the home team, which in hockey, really, uh, the only real difference is who gets that last line change. For the last line change, and then uh, the visiting team has to put a stick down first, essentially, on the faceoff, so you might get a little advantage there. A lot depends on when the ref's going to drop the puck to. In the NHL, it's a big. Not so much here. I think will be called a very interesting uh, you know the the number of games that you know, you, you watch that each linesman kind of have a, a different way that they're going to drop that puck. Yeah you know some like get right in there and just give that nonchalant drops others are almost bailing out before they drop it. You know you talk about that last line change you better be sure that you know Dickie Blazy he's going to have his big guys out against that number one line of Witten Trombley. That's one of the big concerns of, of the game. It's going to be the matchup of uh, of the top lines of these two teams. Dow High putting some uh, pressure on to Midland who the Chemics were attempting to start up uh, start a play but Dow High putting on the pressure Midland able to break through Dylan Sarine from the left-hand side, nice pass behind them, and the puck is still free. The initial stop made by Slazer. Kimmick with a scoring chance, end up empty-handed. Yeah, nice little drop pass there with the shot. Rebound opportunity, but no Kimmick crash in the net. And a shot on goal all the way from uh, behind the opposite blue line. Both teams making a line change. Kimmick's trying to clear it out of their own zone, but Chargers keeping it in nicely. From the red line and hit right into your own guy. He <laughs> feeling that a little bit is uh, is Shane Astrike. The the sophomore says, "Wait a second, that was my own teammate that uh, that drilled me." Yeah, Holbrook trying to get a good old dump in there. Hit his own player. He'll say thank you later. 9:22 to go. One goal game. Dow High one, Midland zero. We're still in the first period of action. Chargers working across the blue line with Brendan Sanders. Another shot on goal for the Chargers and a save made by Grady. Kimmick's defense having a hard time getting free most of this first period. The first seven, eight minutes of this game spent down into the Midland zone. Another centering pass. Midland's defense has done a nice job of limiting the Chargers from finding anybody across the middle. Now the Kimmick's at center ice. Greg Landis will have the puck knocked away. Brendan Sanders will set things up again for the Chargers. That one is, you know, they're going to wave off the icing call. Playing down into the corner. Who will come away with the puck? It'll be the Kimmicks. 
Midland skating ahead over to Greg Landis. Landis from the blue line, and the shot is deflected. Stick and puck both end up flying. Yeah, Landis with his uh, best buddy line mate there, Witt, saw an opportunity for Witt to crash the net as he beat his defender. Throw it on net and see if they can't sneak one by. Mark the date down on your calendar, March the 24th. That will be Booster Bash 2017. Join us to help raise money for Dow High and Midland High Athletics. will take place at the Great Hall, the Valley Plaza Resort, March 24th, 6.30 p.m., the Booster Bash. You can find out more information by heading online. Just uh, Google the Booster Bash. You'll come up. I say that because uh, my apologies, but I'm not 100% sure of what the uh, website is. So just Google it. Exactly. Got an icing on Midland High. Looked like Midland was tired, tired of playing in their defensive zone there for a little bit. We're talking a little bit about, uh, you know, sometimes that icing can be, you know, the intentional, unintentional icing uh, to try to give a moment to regroup. Well, yeah, if you're if you find yourself chasing your opponent in your own defensive zone and you're getting a little tired, take the icing, take the whistle instead of giving up a sloppy goal. Chargers winning the faceoff. They have won the majority of the faceoffs here in the first period. Nice job there by Dowhouse Josh Storer keeping the puck in the zone. Jeremy Brookins, the junior, taking a hit into the boards on the far side of the Kimmicks. Looking to clear out, and again, uh, Storer tried to keep it in, in play. Could not do it. And the puck goes into neutral zone where the Chargers will just send it back into the Midland High zone. Clock continuing to run. Just a little more than halfway through the first period of this contest. They're going to wave off the icing as the puck goes down behind Jeremy Slaser, the junior goalie for the Dow High Chargers. Nice move there against the boards by the Midland High Chemics. Drop back to Brendan Wett. Looking forward back to Wett. Nice job there. Wett and Landis working together, but a save made. And the Dow High Chargers will knock it back into neutral life. Chargers looking to take advantage. Brendan Sanders looking ahead for Casey LaRue. And it will be stopped by Liam Grady. Yeah, Holbrook getting uh, whistle blown there for the high stick. But I tell you what, Brendan Sanders just saved the goal right there for Dow High. Beautiful pass across by Landis. Witt with a wide open net just couldn't get that shot off because Sanders lifted his stick just right at the right time. Great scoring chance a few moments ago for the Midland High Kimmicks. Faceoff will be to the right-hand side of Slaser. Midland High winning, and a shot goes Oh, five-hole deflection. Hey, we got another defenseman on, uh, getting a goal here. Now Luke Trombley had the shot from the blue line. Well, you talked about not many uh, faceoffs being won by Midland High. Right there, they won the faceoffs. Trombley not wasting any time, throwed it on net. And no, this time we had a redirection. As you watch, the five-hole goal go right through. Throw it on net, good things will happen. See if we can figure out who got the tip. Deflect. Oh, is that uh, Landis? I think Landis got his knee on it. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait to find out. Luke Trombley had the initial shot. He was wide open coming off the faceoff, and we'll wait to find out who uh, officially gets credit for the goal. Yeah, Slazer's going left to right for that shot to go wide, and I'm pretty sure Landis got a little knee on it and just redirected. It, it, is sure Greg, it is Greg Landis that will get credit for the goal for the Midland High Kimmicks. We're tied up one to one. Dow High wasting no time. That shot is off the mark. Nathan Witt, the freshman, doing a nice job right there, keeping uh, Six Sanders from getting his goal score. Dow High keeping it in play. Garrett Wilhart, the junior. Fording it back up and Casey LaRue and stop the puck is still free and it's going to be covered up and now a little pushing and shoving afterwards. That'll get the juices flowing right there. And motivation comes in a variety of ways. Sometimes uh, that is the motivation right there. Yeah, but the ref's skating backwards and somebody's skating to the penalty box. We got Steve Witt, or uh, uh, Brendan Witt is going to go to the box. It looks for an interference penalty. I'm not too sure if it was interference as much as maybe he just uh, bargained a little more on that little scrum. Yeah, he was, I think uh, Witt was the one, kind of the last one in, doing a little uh, pushing and shoving afterwards. But 
You hate to be that last guy. But interference is what is going to be called for the first penalty of the game. We'll put the Dow High Chargers on the power play. We'll see if the Chargers take advantage of it. Against Mount Pleasant, they had four power play goals. So interference is the call. And Brendan Witt, one of the big keys of this Midland High offense, finds himself in the penalty box. I tell you right now, they're going to have to keep Liam Grady's vision open. They're going to do a good job of clogging the front of the net, screening the goalie. Brandon Witt down low fighting for position right now. From the left-hand side, good hesitation. The net was open. They were looking across the middle to Brendan Holbrook. Brendan Sanders passed just a little bit off line, but they had Holbrook where they wanted him, and the puck goes out of play. Yeah, Holbrook, he's, he's, a, he's a tough little player there where he's not going to get pushed around, and he's going to hold his ground. Darner got that crossing pass and was able to put it in the open net, but again, just a little stick lift. No shot, no harm. 5-11 to go here in the first period. The Dow High Chargers on the first power play of the game. And the Kimmick, that's coming our way. A little souvenir if it wasn't for the netting. That's right. I was ready for it. Well, you know, after Dow, basically Madrop getting all the face-offs early on. Kemix with two key ones. First for their goal, now on a clear. Midland High able to get the puck where they wanted to off of that face-off. Now the Dow High Chargers, Brendan Sanders. We'll drop it back behind him. Moving ahead over to Shane Astrike. Astrike on the left-hand side. Had the puck deflected away. Just a little under a minute remaining in the power play. Up against the board. Chargers coming away with it. Centering it up for Brendan Sanders. Sanders over to Bayerjean. And Bayerjean's pass is deflected away by Grady. 30 seconds to go in the power play. Four and a half minutes to go in the first period. Setting up again, John Bayerjean. That one to the left-hand side of the net. Chargers again trying to center it up. How about Bayerjean again? But a whistle is going to stop it. It's going to be, well, it's going to be a penalty against the Dow High Chargers. Well, it looks no, like they're going no, to call an interference. Line. They're going to call a cross-checking. They're going to send them both. Oh, how about that? Witt, well, Witt and Holbrook, both of them trying to, to hold ground out from the net. Equal exchange referee just got tired of the shove back and forth, decided to send them both. So Nathan Witt will go into the penalty box, as well as Brendan Holbrook. Doesn't change anything as far as the power play goes. Dow High will have 20 seconds remaining in the power play. And the Chargers, that may have been deflected, and it goes over top of Grady. Chargers working into the corner. Back out over to Storer. That shot knocked away by a defenseman. We're all even. Everybody's even, although there's two in the penalty box, but it's now even strength. Almost deflected away by Casey LaRue. Grady making another nice save. Brady's been tested several times here in the first period. Now the Midland High gimmicks coming away. Now there were even strength. Luke Trombley had the puck knocked away. And the Chargers putting it back into the neutral ice. And coming away with the puck is Casey LaRue trying to drop it behind him, but there was nobody there. And the gimmicks back across with the intensity picking up at the 320 mark. Back and forth in a tied game. Up against the boards right below us. Dow high, Shane Astrike, the sophomore, put up against the boards, left the puck free, and Liam Grady will make a glove save. Yeah, Grady getting tested uh, quite a bit, not only during that power play, but as soon as it ended. A lot of nice redirects for Dow down low, trying to pick one of those corners. Midland High is going to have to do a better job of taking Dow sticks away down low. Face off the left of Grady, won by the Chargers. Storer trying to, a little dropping in, looking for LaRue. Puck deflected away, now behind the net for Grady. Kimmick's able to come, nice move there by Greg Landis. 
And the corner, good hard hit by Garrett Gwilhart. Midland High still with the puck. Now it's the Chargers' turn to come back. One of the first hard hits of the contest made by Grillhart against the board. Dylan Sarine trying to answer the call down on the other side. 2.20 to go. We're tied here in the first period. Landis, another nice move to get by his defender. Landis across the blue line. Passes it at the last moment is Tyler Pritchett. Kimmick still keeping it in play. Working over against the boards. Brendan Witt trying to center it up and never even made it to Jeremy Schlieffer. No, uh, Trombley with a good read there, jumping into the play, almost got himself another one. Centering it up. Puck is still loose, still loose, and the net comes oh, off. Oh, the net comes off. I was wondering why that whistle blew, but you're right. Net comes off. Otherwise, Midland High with a great scoring opportunity down low. And Brendan Witt had a great scoring chance after the backhand. Well, uh, Tyler Pridget just standing in there tough, getting beat up left and right, making some good passes, setting up some plays down low. Midland High winning the face off the shot wide of the net. Carson Crinsline, as we mentioned, normally a defensive player, but tonight Crinsline playing in the uh, wing spot. Well, I think they're going to try to take an advantage. If they can ever get into the off attacking zone and set up camp a little bit, he's going to be able to move some bodies up front and try to get some of those garbage goals as we refer to. Yeah, he's got size to him, 6'2", 245, the senior for the Midland High Chemist. Centering it up, and Liam Grady will cover it up before Dalhive Jack Kiwi can get his stick on the puck. Yeah, it's a, it's a, another you know tip on goal. Dalhive not necessarily throwing it on net; they're just throwing it at the net. That attacking presence redirection them in. 90 seconds to go here in the first period. One to one is where we stand score-wise. Dalhive scored first, then Midland came back about five minutes after the fact. Jack Keevy losing the handle on it. Midland High's Tom Pritchett working across. Brendan Witt skating through the Dalhive defenders. Witt has it in the corner, but he's being outmanned. Had three chargers on him, and the puck ends up going out of play. Now we talked about Trensline moving up for. Uh, Midland High, I've noticed Brendan Holbrook back playing D the last time I remember him up top. So I think he's doing a little switcheroo too with Brendan Holbrook, the senior, putting him back on D. See the ice better, make some attacks. For the first time these two teams met very early in the season, it was back in November, so you know that you know a lot of adjustments made by the coaching staff between the time that these teams met the first time and today. Foot race is on. It's going to be won by the Midland High Kimmick from the far side. Nice pass. Turning around to try to take the shot with Greg Landis, but he couldn't get any wood on the puck. 30 seconds to go here in the first period. They battle into the corner behind Liam Grady. Shane Astrike looking to go to the blue line. Again, oh, centering yeah, up, and we've trembling. got a penalty coming. I don't know if it's Tromley or Whip, but one of them's going to go for the cross check. Looks like Tromley's making the slow stroll. 13, Casey LaRue trying to set up camp, and Tromley was going to have nothing to do with it. So Luke Tromley with the cross check. Let's take a look at it, Bessie. Yeah, a little bit uh, just happened a little bit before then. LaRue trying to set up camp, puck in the corner. You know, sometimes you get away with it, sometimes you don't. That time with two refs, two linesmen, it's getting harder and harder to get away with some of that stuff. So Luke Trombley finds himself in the penalty box with 16 seconds to go here in the first period. The Chargers back on the power play. Dow High 0 for 1 in the power play. But again with Trombley, he's one of the key players on this Millen High team. Right off the faceoff and a kick save made by Grady. Yeah, Trombley's the number one penalty killer on D too. Final seconds ticking off in the first period. If the Chargers can get that puck free out of the corner, they may have time for a shot, and they're not going to. Uh, 
Bow high off sides, the whistle and the horn blowing at the same time, and that will bring the first period to an end here at the Midland Civic Arena inside the Park Place Homes rank for the Kimmicks and the Chargers who finish the first period the same way the game started all tied up, albeit one to one. At this point, the scorer in the first period, Josh Storer scoring for the Dow High Chargers and then Greg Landis taking the reflection off of a Luke Trombley shot for Midland High. Storer and Landis with the goals in the game and we are tied one to one as the teams end up skating off the rink. Let's briefly let you know that this game is produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. We've got hockey tonight. We've got basketball, both girls and boys coming up this weekend. We've got swimming coming up next week, a big February of action here on MPS Sports. And if you would like to become a uh, volunteer here at MCTV, the next orientation will take place on Saturday, February the 11th. Just a, a couple of days away, depending on when you're watching the contest. We've also got orientations March 11th and May 13th, all 10 o'clock in the morning in the MCTV studio. The cost is $45, which includes all the training and the first year of access membership. For more information, there's the uh, website, or you can call 837-3474. Find out how to become involved at MCTV and join us for a great production such as this orientation is coming up February, March, and May. We are at the end of the first period here at the Park Place Homes Rink. It is all tied up one-to-one. -one. The Kimmicks and the Chargers on MPS TV. We'll be back with more action right after this. We are back here at the Midland Civic Arena, the Park Place Homes Arena for the Midland High Kimmicks and the Dow High Chargers and the Charger Pet Band welcoming the Dow High Chargers back onto the ice. The Midland High Kimmicks already on the ice, huddle huddled after their coach uh, Steve Witt. All tied up one to one after the first period of this contest. Dow High shot Storer with a goal and Midland High Greg Landis with a goal. And Vezzi shots on goal back in the first period. Dow High controlling the shots. 14 shots for the Dow High Chargers. Only five shots for the Midland High Kimmicks, although they did connect on the, uh, the shot by Landis. But the Dow High Chargers, a little more offense, a little more aggression from Dow High in the first period. Yeah, I mean, Dow right now is just throwing the puck on net. Uh, I should say on net. They're just throwing it at the net, getting redirects, getting some tips. That's definitely their philosophy. In Dow's defensive zone, they're just clearing. Midland High's not getting any second chance opportunities. Underway, second period. The Dow High Chargers beginning the period on a power play. Luke Trombley in the penalty box for Midland for the next one and a half minutes. He had a cross check towards the end of the first period. Midland High will be going right to left across your television here in the second period in their brand new gold jerseys with the blue and gold stripes. Dow High wearing their traditional white jerseys along with a little bit of green and the Chargers with a great shot there. Brendan Sanders making Liam Grady work early on in the second period. Yeah, nice save by Grady right there. Sanders, you know, looking like he's going to pass so they kind of gave him some room. Walked right out, key shot in the top of the slot. A good decision by Sanders of not passing, going for the shot. And Grady did a good job making the save. Deflected all the way down, and so Jeremy Slicer will go out of net to stop the puck for the Dow High Chargers. One minute remaining in the Dow power play. One to one as we're underway in the second period. Jason Harper, Mike Vesna, and a great crew of MCTV volunteers here at the Civic Arena. Midland High doing a much better job here at the start of the second period of killing the power play than what they did back in the first period. Yeah, now High having trouble getting set up in their attacking zone. Kudos to the Kimmicks. Joey Johnson, he was a sophomore working the puck for the Chargers, had it knocked away. Another clear. And a good job there defensively by Carson Krinsline of not allowing Dow to get into the zone. 10 seconds remain in the power play. Dow High this time. Shane Astrike centers it up. And the puck kind of held on to it a little bit too long. 
Tommy Pritchett doing a nice job clearing that puck into the corner. Shot taken from the left-hand side. Reflection is cleared out, and the Midland High Kimmicks are out of the box. Trombley's penalty is over. Back to full strength. That offsides is going to be gone. Yep, Shrine jumping in just a little early. He thought he brought it in under control. Stripes right there says differently. And with two linesmen, the lines are covered when uh, the what used to be the traditional two referees, one linesman. Sometimes you uh, could get away with a little offsides just because of the uh, positioning. But same thing with the penalty on uh, Trombley. Sometimes you get away with a little bump. Sometimes you don't. Midland High with the puck behind their own net. Dow High putting a little pressure on, and Chargers, that pressure works. They're able to keep the puck into that Midland High zone. This time it goes into neutral ice. 14.40 on the clock as it's cleared out. Dow High, Jared Zahn, the junior, had no place to go with the puck. Working back into the corner for the Dow High Chargers, Brendan Holbrook, and it's still alive. Grady made the first save. Now we've got a penalty coming as the I think Midland, Painter's going to go for a hook. The Midland High Chemex taking the shot from the left-hand side. Matt Gross and his shot saved by Sleeser, but the first penalty against the Dow High Chargers, or the second penalty, but the first power play for the Midland High Chemex of Nathan Painter, the senior. Goes in the box, hooking is the call, and uh, that will let you what Painter does. Yeah, he just gets a stick where it doesn't belong, trying to, you know, keep possession out front. Spun him a little bit. I think the, the hook happened a little earlier than that. But two refs, one of them's looking at the play, one's looking behind. And yeah, that call was made by the uh, the official that was out by the blue line, not the uh, official that was down near the goal line. So Midland with their first power play of the game. We'll see what the Kimmicks can do as the Chargers have the puck back into their own zone. No high stick call. Oh, they've got it oh, on they a delay. Okay. Yeah, I thought one waved it, but the one with the stripes that matters said, yep. I uh, I wondered. I thought I, from our vantage point it looked like a high stick, but I wasn't sure uh, they were going to call it. Yeah, I mean, you've got uh, Whit, who's so tall anyway, who hacks and whacks it, but it truly is the four-foot lane, the top of the goal. So the face-off down in the Midland High zone, but the Kimmicks winning the face-off. Midland's on the power play. Shot taken, and it's wide of the net. Brendan Witt with the shot, and the Chargers will clear it out. Well, you got that dump in. You had all, time, all kinds of time to set up an attacking zone. But missed shot, easy clear. We'll see what the Kimmicks do this trip down the ice. Skating it in is Luke Trombley on the near side. Trombley dropping it behind, looking for a Brendan Witt. And again, the Chargers able to clear it out. Less than a minute to go in the power play. One to one in the rematch between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. About Four weeks, about three weeks remaining in the regular season before the postseason will get underway the last week of February. Cleared out again, so the uh, Chargers doing a nice job of uh, not allowing Midland to get uh, you know, more than maybe one shot at the most. Well, they're, they're getting into the attacking zone and they're taking that shot right away. Dow's just clearing it easy. Midland needs to see if they can't get in the zone and set up, but they're having trouble carrying the puck in the zone. Cleared out again, 15 seconds in the power play. I don't believe they've got a shot on goal. No, the closest thing they had was Witt, who missed the net by a foot or so. Midland High trying to get one more shot in before the penalty expires, and they're not going to do it. So a great power kill by the Dow High Chargers, and we're back to full strength with just over 12 minutes to play in the second period. Dow High crossing out. Dylan Sarine trying to grab it from the Chargers, but can't do it. So now Dow High on the far side and deflected away before it could get to Grady. Good active sticks out in front of the goalie. Crossing pass is just an easy deflect away. And the defense has been 
pretty stellar from both of these teams. Oh, and we, we got the back official calling something again. Looks like he's going to call a hold. Couldn't really got, see it where we're standing. Well, we've got a penalty, and then we've got a little uh, extracurricular Squirmish. stuff going on but in the, the corner. But the Dow penalty box door is opening, and it was the back official that called the hold. Kind of in the corner in our blind spot, so to speak. Yeah, let's see if we can pick up uh, where it is on the replay. Looks like it's going to be Brendan Holbrook who has headed into the box. That's not, uh, That's not that Holbrook wasn't the penalty. There. But this, this is the little extracurricular stuff that was in the corner between those two players. Holbrook is the one that is headed into the penalty box. He looks confused like he's not sure what he did. Oh, you said you think uh, we had a hold? Well, I, I saw the back official call two for hold. Well, either way, the Midland High Chemics will go on their second power play of the game. And the Chemics winning the faceoff. Nathan Witt with the puck. Nathan centers it up and a great stop made by Slaser. Great shot there. Midland High's Luke Trombley had a scoring chance. Trombley's got it back again. Sends it a high and... Slaser able to make the glove save. It was holding. That is the penalty that sends Holbrook into the box. Yeah, I'm not, not sure what happened on the hold because, like I said, it wasn't our blind spot here. But nonetheless, Midland High finally with some attacking zone presence on the power play. Nice little pass and shot. And the Kimmicks had a scoring chance, their first shot on goal of their power play a few moments ago by Trombley. Speaking of Trombley, he's got the puck now. Skating around in the center of the ice as Midland High tries to set something up. Dumping it in over to Brendan Witt. Witt skating it in, was looking back for Greg Landis, but Dow's defense not allowing that to happen. This time the Kimmicks will keep it in play, and the shot goes high over top of everybody and off the netting. Yeah, we got a deflection, so it'll stay in the attacking zone. Trombley sneaking left and right, trying to find himself some open spots. 10.48 to play in the second period. Just a little over a minute to go in the Midland High power play. Fourth power play of the night. Neither team has been able to capitalize quite yet. Kimmick's looking to change that. Tommy Pritchett, his shot never gets anywhere near. It's deflected off of a uh, Dow High defenseman. Dow High now, shorthanded, looking to uh, set something up in neutral life. They're just going to send it all the way down, and the shot is wide of the net. Midland High has done a decent job in the power plays of getting the puck into the zone, but they've only got one shot on goal. And again, Brendan Witt has the puck knocked away by Dow's defenseman. Back down the opposite way. Shane Astrike may have got away with a uh, interference. At least Liam Grady thought so. <laughs> Shot taken there. It's got to be a good one to put you down two men. Ten seconds to go in the power play. Behind the net, centering it up, and a kick save made. Greg Landis had the shot, but Jeremy Slaser down split, making the save, and out of the box comes the Dow High Chargers, so the power play is over, and now the Dow High Chargers at full strength across the blue line with Nathan Painter taking a shot. Midland High looking to deflect it back out of the zone and does. 9, just over 9 minutes to go for second period action. Score. And there's a shot from the Chargers left hand side. Looks like Brendan Holbrook. Brendan Holbrook, the senior, finds the open spot above the shoulder of Grady. Yeah, he was just kind of bird dogging that whole shift out there looking for the open spot. Right place, right time, found the puck. And here's a look at it, Vezzi. Well, it's going to be the old fashioned wrist shot too. You know, a lot of people like to wind up, put that thing on a tee. But Holbrook just wears back. Nice little wrist shot. Burnham clean glove side. And that caused Grady a little uh, off. He was kind of keeping an eye on Jack Keevy, but Keevy was just there for decoration. And instead, Brendan Holbrook fires it above the shoulders, and now Brendan Sanders winning the faceoff for the Chargers. So Holbrook 
giving the Chargers a 2-1 lead. Nine minutes to go, and now we've got a penalty coming against the Kimmicks. And that's going to be Carson Krenzlein that is going to head into the uh, penalty box. Krenzlein getting a little uh, too aggressive. It was that, that extra shove that ended up drawing the penalty. Yeah, the, the first shove he got away with, the second shove, the ref wasn't going to allow it. He's got the roughing penalty, two-minute minor. That's tough when you just give up that goal, and now you're going to put Dow right back on the power play. And I think that was, you know, described perfectly. That first shove, okay, we'll let it, we'll let it slide. The, the second one was not. So Dow High with a one-goal lead is now on a power play after the Carson Krenzline roughing penalty. Sean Byerjan having a shot that is saved by Grady. Yeah, it's kind of like the parting of the seas. Byerjan gets the puck back there, and instead of traffic out front of Grady, everybody split, wide open, easy save for Grady. Good shot and a good save. Yeah, but I, I mean, Byerjan did his job, put the puck on net. Good things happen. It's been the, the Dow's way to do it today so far, and it's worked. Chargers Holbrook with again. another wrist shot. Yeah, another face-off win, and again, Brennan Holbrook taking the shot. That one goes into the uh, bread basket of Grady. Yeah, Coach Witt's not going to be happy with the drop of that puck. Nobody moving on the, the shooter. Wide open shot. Holbrook almost with the second in less than a minute. Chargers on the power play with two shots on goal. Midland High will finally clear it out and the Chemex on a breakaway shorthanded and a save made by Slaser and the puck was still free. Slaser doing a great job. He thought he had it saved, had to reach underneath him and the puck never does cross the line. So Jeremy Slaser making the save. Well, I think Slaser made the save but Holbrook made the second save. That puck was just dribbling towards the goal line. Let's, uh, let's take a look at it. Yeah, sloppy uh, attacking play by Dow High. They'll give up with it, but watch that puck come around. And Holbrook, pretty sure that's Holbrook standing right there. Nope, we're going to give that to Byerjan. Byerjan being wise, you know, protect that, keeping it from dribbling in. A great scoring chance for Midland High. Shorthanded, Matt Gross had the initial shot, and that puck could just lay in right near that goal line and never crossed. Great job by the officiating crew being right there to make sure. There's a oh, kick save no, and the reflection. Open. Nobody wide will open. run. Brendan Sanders will score the power play for the Chargers. Well, that odd man attack, you're going to see what happens, is that everybody is focusing on the puck. You got both Chemex back right now, both of them looking to the one side. Everybody kind of forgot about Sanders standing wide by himself. They yep. got to have a Chemex. Well, I don't know if the Chemex are getting caught in a line change or not because that fourth Chemex in the zone sure was late getting back. Nothing Grady could do on that one. No, absolutely not. The power play goal by Brendan Sanders for the Dow High Chargers, giving Dow a 3-1 lead over the Midland High Chemics and all the way from the blue line, shot taken by Josh Storer. Liam Grady being tested often here in the middle of the second period. Puck is still free, and Midland High will clear it out. Trying to take it all the way down is Dylan Sarine. Sarine looking to skate it in, but he's going to be stopped by Josh Storer. First power play of the game for the Dow High Chargers, 3-1. There's a shot and a save made by Grady. Puck is still free. Another shot, penalty coming up. Third shot, Grady being tested. Three saves by Liam Grady. Have Jack Keevy doing everything in his power to put the puck into net, and the Chargers are going to go back on the power play. Another penalty and, uh, against and the Midland High gimmick. Another roughing penalty, which means they're just Midland High is going to have to settle down right now. You know, you got to have that controlled anxiety. But uh, 18, I believe it's Eller. And yeah, Noah Eller called with the uh, penalty. Yeah, uh, roughing penalties are tough. So the Dow High Chargers, who just scored on the power play, they have a two-goal lead, looking to extend it here in the second in the second period. Joey Johnson working the puck across from the far side, put it in front of the net. Now John Byerjan working it back out over to Johnson and deflected away. Liam Grady wants the puck out of the zone just so he can catch his breath. Yeah, without a doubt, Dow High really taking control of this game in the last five minutes. And one more goal would really take control. Oh, without a doubt. 
three to one in favor of the Chargers. Johnson again, this time Millen High's defense will knock the puck into the corner. Kimmich will send it the other direction. Six, uh, 6.20 to go in the second period. One minute remaining in the Dow High power play. Jack Keevy losing the handle briefly. Now he'll pass to his left on the far side. Drop it back over to Bayerjan. Bayerjan looks into the corner. He's trying to find Keevy again. Keevy hit against the boards in front of the Charger student section. The puck's still free, but nobody able to come away with it. The official right there, and the puck does skate free. Back up against the boards again. Good hit there by Shane Astrike. 30 seconds to go in the power play. Sending it across, Josh Storer. One-timer doesn't get through, Midland High. Nice job there by Greg Landis. Yep, Storer's got to get rid of that puck a little sooner and that puck can get through. Astrike, that puck's still free, they're gonna wave it off. Astrike had the shot from the corner. Grady made the save, and then the Chargers thought they had poked it in, but it's going to be waved off. Let's see uh, what happens. Well, I'm pretty sure it got poked in, but the intent to blow play dead had already happened. You don't have to hear the whistle. You just have to have the referee with the intent to blow the play dead, and I think that's what's going to happen right here. Well, there's the you initial, have the initial shot. save. He's already going up with his whistle. So as long as the referee has the intent to stop play, before the puck goes into the net, they're going to wave that off every time. That could have been trouble. Casey LaRue was the one that poked that puck in, but as you mentioned, it looks like the official already uh, looking to blow the whistle, so no goal for the Dow High Chargers. The power play is over. Midland High out of the box. We're back to even strength with 5.15 to play. Two goal Dow High lead. Storer sitting in from the blue line, almost deflected by Nathan Painter. Yeah, Painter with a nice redirect. Grady with another big save. Dow High still keeping it in their offensive zone. Painter sending it back into the corner. Right into your living room. Great job by our volunteer crew. Storer again taking the shot, but all kinds of traffic in front of the Midland High net. Yeah, Midland having trouble getting out of their defensive zone right now. Dow High just on the pressure and attack. Casey LaRue trying to backhand or find somebody. LaRue still has control of the puck as he skates behind. Now looking for Alec Newton. Newton in the corner, being stopped by the Midland High Chemex. Puck is still trying to be freed by somebody over in the corner, and Dow High keeping it in play again by Josh Storer. Yeah, second period's a tough period for defense to change. And right now, Midland High needs a change on D. Guys are getting tired. Brendan Sanders had a one-timer. There's a shot by Astrike, and the puck's still loose. Grady unable to cover it up. Midland unable to clear. The Chargers just putting all kinds of pressure onto Liam Grady here in the second period. Yeah, Nielsen trying to clear. Couldn't do it. Shrine trying to clear. Got it cleared, but right back in to attack. Brendan Sanders, one-timer, doesn't get through. Fighting for it again. Newton will keep it in play. Now over to Astrike. Astrike shot it and a kick save made by Grady. And Midland High just getting manhandled down low right now. They really need a whistle. They're going to change that tip. Holbrook, Holbrook with the shot. And we got the tip. Alec Newton, I think, is going to be awarded that goal. The freshman. Just perfect positioning. I'm not even, I, I'm pretty sure Holbrook wasn't really taking a shot as much as he was passing that puck. Now let's take a look. You can only pound and pound so long. Something good is going to happen if you're the Chargers. Yep, and Holbrook throw it on net. How about that? Right off the stick of Alec Newton. Right place, the, right time. No doubt. Well, we talk about the second period, the long changes. Midland High's defense was on the ice way too long, trying to clear, trying to even take that ice we talked about earlier. Just had a hard time clearing. Credit Dow High, though, for keeping good offensive pressure. Oh, Just, yeah. That, that was, you know, Dow High earning that. Yeah, Midland High couldn't clear it out. And, you know, Grady just getting wore down in net for, for Midland High. But Newton was all by himself there to just stick his stick out and have it deflected off. So Holbrook with the shot. Alec Newton, the freshman, picking up the goal in the Chargers with a 4-1 to one lead with three minutes to go here in the second period. 
Well, three minutes to go. Midland High is looking, obviously, you know, to score a goal here to get this thing back to a two-goal game, but they need something positive to happen right now. Midland High will. A little two-on-one opportunity. Can Witt get to the puck first? Yes, he is. All by himself. That's in. Post Kimmich. to post and in. The Kimmich getting a goal back. Tyler Pritchett right there. Witt doing all the work, so to speak, with Pritchett. He had to finish, though. And Big time finish. The freshman coming through here late in the second period. This time, Tyler Pritchett. And a witch is working his tail off to get this done. Pritchett with a nice little move off the post. Almost looked like it went to the other post and in. Can't say that for sure, but definitely nice play, good time. And Midland High needed that goal. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, they talk about a two-goal lead being one of the hardest goals, or the leads to hold on to. But I tell you what, a three-goal lead into the third was tough to overcome. So Tyler Pritchett getting the job done for the Midland High Kimmicks, picking up the goal to make this, uh, you know, at least in the sights of the Midland High Kimmicks, four to two, Dow High maintaining the lead. Two and a half minutes to go here in the second period. Now it was also nice to see Vesey that, you know, after giving up that goal, Midland did not uh, close things down. In fact, Midland High may have got a little motivation because another shot there, that time by Luke Trombley, but Midland High not, uh, you know, sometimes when you get down by three goals, you start uh, skating a little slower. Your head is hung a little lower, but that is not what is happening here. The Chemics, I think, becoming a little motivated. Well, definitely. They figured they better get her going or else it's going to be a long night. Nice step up, nice right Tromley, same thing. Yeah, right off the face off, another shot on goal for the Midland High Chemics, but now we go back down into the corner. Dow High with a two goal lead, two minutes to go here in the second period, and a icing call will give us a chance to let you know that if you're just tuning in, the dates and times that you can watch this game here on MPS TV on uh, Charter Channel 189 or, or Channel 99 on AT&T's U-verse. There's the times. February 1st, 8 o'clock. February 2nd, 8 o'clock. February 3rd, 8 o'clock. Prime time viewing for Midland and Dow Hockey. The game will also be posted on the Midland Public School YouTube page sometime either uh, late this week or early next week. And you can watch in high definition on the uh, MPS YouTube page, the Kimmix and the Chargers do battle with ice hockey. In front of the net, just missing the net that time was Nathan Painter. Dow High will center it out over to Sean Byerjean and the shot in will be covered up by Grady. Yeah, Byerjean doing what Dow's been doing all night, just throw the puck at the net, see what happens. But Grady wide open. Saw it all the way. Offensive zone faceoff for Chargers coming up. See if Midland High does a better job picking up that uh, guy breaking across. That they do. And the Midland High Chemex will come back with Greg Landis skating across the blue line. Landis trying to get by his defender. Could not do it. Dow High, one on one. Brendan Sanders and way out of net, Liam Grady able to make the save for Midland. Yep, the Byerjean, the big senior from Dow High, and uh, Tromley, the big senior defenseman from Midland High, both doing their jobs in those one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Just over a minute to go. By the way, while we have a quick chance, we do want to thank the uh, Midland Amateur Hockey League, Casey Waite, and the staff of doing a uh, tremendous job of helping us out and making sure we're happy to do hockey, yeah, they fed us, and food does make us happy. Yeah, Byerjean, I'm trying to graduate him too soon there. He's only a junior listed on the scorecard. Nonetheless, nice one-on-one -on -one play. Brendan Witt across the blue line. Shot was off net. 40 seconds to go here in the second period. Looking back into the corner again, the Midland High Chemics centering it up and try to deflect it in. Luke Trombley, great idea, just could not get enough uh, mustard on the shot. Both 15, teams a little more life here. 15 seconds to go. 
Dow high across the blue line. They've got a chance to get a shot. Deflected off the boards. Now we're down to five seconds. Midland High's Greg Landis goes off the glass. And we're, the horn is going to sound. And the second period comes to an end with all kinds of scoring. Four goals scored in the second period. That the majority of them by the Dow High Chargers. Well, Dow High definitely seemed to be the aggressive uh, attacker there and, and were rewarded because of that. Midland High seemed to be a little more laid back, play that wait and see kind of game, trying to keep their composure, stay out of the penalty box. It, that didn't happen, and you know, until the last couple minutes, they didn't put a puck on net. Yeah, it was the Dow High, how, you know, how many minutes, you know, five, six minutes just down there in front of Liam Grady? Well, without a doubt, and that, you know, Chemex is definitely tired. They have that long exchange in the second period. They couldn't buy an icing even. I mean, trying to throw the puck down for the icing, Dow High doing a nice job of keeping that puck in. And, and ultimately finishing it in the end. Brendan Holbrook got the scoring started for the Dow High Chargers, and then we had the uh, power play goal by Brendan Sanders, and then Alec Newton adding the uh, goal late in the second period before the Midland High Chemics uh, kind of uh, got back on track with Tyler Pritchett scoring for Midland High. That's where we stand, 4-2 to two in favor of the Dow High Chargers. If the Zamboni takes the ice here, at the Park Place Homes Arena inside the Midland Civic Arena. We've got 17 minutes of ice hockey left. We're glad you are with us here on MPS TV. We'll be back with the third period right after this. We are back at the Midland Civic Arena, the Park Place Homes Arena, the Olympic size rink for high school hockey here on MPS TV getting ready to start the third period. The Dow High Chargers and the Midland High Chemex. It is four to two in favor of the Dow High Chargers. Dow High scoring uh, three unanswered goals in the second period before uh, Midland finally got on board towards the uh, tail end of that period. A much needed goal for Midland High, but the Dow High Chargers had things working very well. They were very aggressive. Liam Grady being tested often. In fact, Dow High had 17 shots in the second period compared to 10 shots for the Midland High Kimmick. So here we go, the final 17 minutes and the final regular season meeting between these two teams, the Kimmicks and the Chargers. We'll talk about the postseason when we get a chance in a little bit. Right now, the Midland High Chemics across the blue line and a shot on goal by Brendan Witt. Rebound, and uh, the puck is still alive. Kicked out briefly. Now Nathan Witt with the shot. Puck is still alive. Shot coming from the left-hand side. I believe that was Tyler Pritchett. Midland High will work it back out over to Nathan Witt. Dow High unable to clear it out. Greg Landis will keep it in. Now the Chargers will indeed clear it out so the Chemics will regroup. Pritchett will send it back in. Oh, almost deflected off of a uh, of a charger. Jeremy Slaser had to stop a deflection off of his own player. Jeremy Slaser in net for the Dow High Chargers. Liam Grady in net for the Midland High Chemics. Four to two in favor of Dow. Midland coming out here in the third period looking to cut into this deficit. Into the far corner. Well, Midland High definitely uh, wanting to come out and have an attacking presence here in the start of this third period. Dow High, I think, almost you're like, hey, don't make any mistakes. Just play your game. Well, sometimes you can get caught up on your heels a little too much, too. Sometimes when that momentum, uh, you know, gets in your way a, a, a little bit, sometimes you take your foot off the accelerator and then next thing you know, somebody's trying to pass you. Yeah, being on your heels is never a good thing this early in the third. Midland High definitely playing more aggressive than what we saw in the first two periods. There's a shot from Krenz line that forced Slaser to make a, uh, a kick save. Just underway here in the third period. Most of the action down in front of Jeremy Slaser and the Chargers just dump it down into the Midland zone so they can get a line change. Yeah, well needed. A lot of pressure there from Midland High in the early goings. The puck right now in front of the scorer's box and 
Drills back into the down high zone. Chargers trying to send it around the board into neutral ice, which they do so. Landis lost track of the puck briefly. Chargers will deflect it back down into the opposite way. Nice pass there, looking for Greg Landis on the far side. Landis skating in, dumps it behind him, and the puck comes free. Landis continues into Slacer, who does not care for that, and everybody gets back up to their feet with uh, no harm, no foul. Yeah, I mean, Landis doing a great job. You put your shoulder down, you drive that defenseman, see what happens, trying to create some, some traffic and some scoring opportunities. Uh, Dahai not happy with the goalie contact, but... Like you said, no harm, no foul. I don't really think there was much, uh, you know, much there. Landis just no continuing. Intent. Right, exactly. He just had, you know, driving the net. There's a look at the Midland High fans behind and next to the Midland High bench. This game played on a Tuesday, kind of weird. Most of uh, the time, hockey is a Wednesday or a Friday or maybe a Saturday. Here comes the Chargers. On the far side, and the shot ends up being deflected away. May have got a stick on it, did, uh, did Grady. Yeah, but Grady looked like he had a nice save there. Otherwise, Sanders puts us back to a three-goal game. All the way from the blue line, and again, the save made. Couple of scoring chances by the junior, Brendan Sanders. First shots on goal of the third period for Dow High. Midland came out firing, trying to cut into their two-goal deficit, but the Chargers Answering the call, they want to keep or increase that lead. Yeah, you know, with the two goals, you're only one goal away from a one-goal game, and Chemics know they need that one goal to make it a one-goal game. We've got a penalty coming as they battle into the corner. The Dow High Chargers will go into the box, but the Midland High Chemics will have the power play. Looks like Josh Storr is going to go for a trip. See what Midland can do. Yeah, this is a golden chance for the Kimmicks to cut into their deficit. The trip called against the Chargers. So Josh Storr is in the box, and the faceoff will be won and sent all the way down the opposite side. Faceoff one, good clear. Midland High has done a nice job on the power play of getting the puck back into their zone. This time, Dow High putting a little more pressure, and it works out for the Chargers as Jack Keevy comes away with the, with the steal. But the Chemics have been unable to get too many power play shots, only about two or three. We'll see what happens this time. They've got a three-on-two advantage if they try to dump it down. Matt Gross attempting to, looking in the front maybe for Krenzlein. Chargers can't clear it out. Krenzlein's got the puck right down. Left-hand side, doesn't get through. This time the Chargers do indeed clear it back out. Hepwood trying to get his number one power play unit back on the ice right now. A minute to go in the Midland High power play. On the far side looking for Greg Landis. Brendan Witt's got the puck, now Landis in the corner. Good pressure put on by the Dow High Chargers. Landis goes back over to Witt. Witt was centering up, looking for Tommy Pritchett. Scoring chance for the Chemics, but they come away empty-handed, and the Chargers will clear it out. Yeah, nice pass there, nice redirect. And Dow High trying to steal it behind the Midland High net. 30 seconds to go in the Chemic power play. Chargers. Clear it back into neutral life. In fact, they were looking all the way ahead, trying to find Brendan Sanders. Sanders skating behind will go softly into the boards as the Chemex try to get the puck free. Final seconds of the power play, so the Chemex will be empty-handed on yet another power play if the Chargers' Josh Storr is out of the box. Tommy Pritchard will fire from the blue line and the save made. Yeah, the Chemics really, I mean, they had one or two, you know, soft opportunities, but never really able to get set up in that attacking zone. Face-off will be to the left of Jeremy Slicer. 
Dow High have the luxury of having uh, two goalies, Slaser and Seamus Belial, who both would be, you know, regular starters on most any other team. Two very talented individuals in net. Slaser getting the start here tonight has done a pretty good job. Only given up two Kemet goals. Midland High could not keep it in. Chargers looking to skate through. Jared Zahn, he's a junior with the puck. Zahn looking for somebody. Now he'll just kind of throw it about up into the front of the net and the Midland High Kemet's able to clear out. Midland across the blue line. It was Matt Gross with the Ooh, puck trying Holbrook. to keep it free there. It was trying to look for a Chris Gillimet. And now we've got oh, a penalty no. coming against Midland, and this is a mental mistake right there because the Midland player just ended up knocking away the uh, the glove of one of the Dow High players. And Brendan Holbrook tying up Gross all the way through the zone. Referee watching it the whole way, choosing the no call. Matt Gross, Gross thought he was being held when yeah. Holbrook's glove came off. Gross letting his frustration get the best of him. But they're going to call a hold against Gross, and the Dow High Chargers will be back on the power play. Those are the ones that a uh, Coach Vezzi, you're well aware of. Those are the ones that you, you hate to see because it's, it's mental, not physical. Mental, and you're down two goals. Shot taken by the Chargers and a save made by Liam Grady. I mean, uh, you got 10 minutes left to get two goals, and instead of being able to attack, you got to play back. Just over 10 minutes to go here in the third period. Dow High on the power play, looking to increase their two-goal lead. Dow High, John Byerjan with the puck, but it's deflected away by Brendan Witt. Witt ahead to Greg Landis. Kimmich short-handed, and a kick save made by Slaser. Yeah, Witt doing a good job holding onto that puck as long as he possibly could, drawing all the attention to him. Landis just... Took off like a bolt of lightning there. Got the nice pass across. Great short handed. Watch, watch Witt just hold this puck as long as he can. Land is just sneaking behind the Sanders there on D. Slazer having to come up with a big save to keep this thing a one goal game. Yeah, great short handed chance. Well, those two played well together and they knew what they were doing. 90 seconds in the power play for the Dow High Chargers who do have one power play goal so far in the game. I think some of the Midland fans may have wanted an elbow as a stick goes flying all the way, way again. Yeah, there. ended up hitting the uh, the blue tarp that's above the rink. Nice clear by Midland High there. I think the Midland fans wanted a uh, an elbow call, did not get it. For the most part, this game you know has been physical at times, but nothing anywhere near to being out of control. And a shot and a save, Liam Grady. Making the uh, save off of Johnson's shot. Yep, again, saw it the whole way, harmless. But it does give Dow High an opportunity to put the fresh power play unit on the ice, as well as Coach Witt's team to throw out his uh, two, three, four, no, or their uh, number one penalty kill unit, Tromley, Landis, Witt, and Pritchett. 50 seconds to go in the power play. Down in the corner. Chargers were given to Joey Johnson. Almost had it knocked away. Now the Kimmicks do indeed clear. A little pressure put on by Greg Landis. But the Chargers will come back working in the other direction. Josh Storer working for Dow High. Storer looking for Jack Keevy. Keevy sends it across to Johnson. Johnson goes back towards the corner and deflected away by Grady. 15 seconds in the power play. Joey Johnson, the puck just left right there for Brennan Witt to take, and Witt across the blue line. Witt looking for a shorthanded goal, and another save made by Jeremy Slazer. The penalty is over, but how about the fact that Kemmicks had two shorthanded shots? Yeah, definitely they had better scoring opportunities killing a penalty than Dow Hyde did on the power play. Even strength, eight minutes to go. Chargers leading by two, another penalty coming. Jack Keevy's gonna go for a hold. So now the Midland High Kimmicks will go on the power play. Jack Keevy will head to the box and let's briefly take a look. The postseason 
will be coming up beginning on Tuesday, February 28th. The pre-regionals will be played in Gladwin at the Community Ice Arena. The Dow High Chargers will square off on Tuesday against the Bay Area Thunder, the Exxonville Garber team. And then the winner of that game will play Midland High on Thursday, March 2nd in Gladwin. The winner of that game will go to the regional final, which is going to be on Saturday, March 4th here at the Midland Civic Arena. So the postseason will get underway on February 28th. The first two rounds up in Gladwin, and then the action returns here to Midland on Saturday. Again, another nice save made by Slazer. Kimmicks keeping it in play. Luke Trombley tried to work it in. Trombley, nice job there, keeping it in. is kind of laying on that blue line. And the Chargers will clear it all the way down. Yep. Looking to get a, a change of personnel for the Kimmicks there to get your number one line back on the ice. Minute 11 left in the power play. Working across the uh, the blue line. Good hard hit into the boards, but Midland High keeps it into the zone. A minute to go in the power play. Seven minutes to go in the game. Landis with a good hold in. And a nice pass, but Brendan Witt unable to capitalize. Chargers again trying to clear it out, and they do into a neutral ice. Dow High will clear it back out. Midland High, Brendan Witt, nice pass to Greg Landis. Landis will skate it in, but can't oh my find gosh, the net. Couldn't finish. Wide open shot, but Landis unable to pull the trigger. Exactly. Landis has got the puck again for Midland High. That may have been the best chance of the third period for the Kimmicks. Midland's Tyler Pritchett tried to uh, deflect it away. Here comes Midland again, one timer and a save made by Slazer. Yeah, Greg Landis does a great job of beating Slazer. I'm just not sure from our angle how he didn't get that backhand into the open net. Well, maybe we can find out here on the, uh, the replay of what happened. In behind the D like you're supposed to be. Nice fake shot. Go to the deke. And just, I'm not I so don't know. Not yeah. sure if the Dow defender got a stick on his stick or if he just wasn't able to pull the trigger. Almost looked like a, a wide open backhand for Landis, but the Kimmicks coming away empty handed. Meanwhile, the Dow High Chargers, no icing called as the, the puck ended up, uh, the foot race ended up being won. Five and a half minutes to go. Here in the third period, Dow High four, Midland High two. Nobody has scored here in the third period of play. And we've we got, got a hand pass. Yeah, hand pass is what it's called. So while we do have a uh, chance, we want to thank Kenny Benson and the staff here at the Midland Civic Arena for all of their help in our setup and opening up the doors and making sure that we have everything that we uh, that we need. Well, crunch time, 5.27 to go in the third. Midland High down two. Dow High keeping it into the blue line. Nice job by Josh Storer. Now Alec Newton working over to Jared Zahn. Zahn has uh, Newton and Zahn kind of uh, passing it back and forth between the Midland High defenders. Still five minutes, which is plenty of time, but you know that the Midland High Kimmicks would like to at least get one more goal here sooner than later. Dow High, one more goal would be huge for the Chargers in terms of trying to seal away this win. Slazer trying to cover it up in an oh, early whistle. early, early whistle. Everybody thought Slazer had it, but it was a good two, three feet out in front of him. And not really uh, much from the Midland High bench, but... Uh, I think they lost sight of it too. I know a, uh, a, coll a, a college coach that may have been a little more vocal about this. Not happy. Yeah, it looked like he had it. I mean, every all signs pointed to him having it because he's not scrambling. Yeah. Slazer sold it. Good job by the goalie. Four and a half minutes to go.
Cleared and icing. out and icing will be called. Well, faceoffs become more and more critical as this game goes on. I mean, they're critical throughout the game. But right now, if you're Midland High, you need somebody to win that draw back, get yourself a scoring opportunity off the draw. Chargers with four goals, and they have spread them out. Josh Storer scored the first one. Brendan Holbrook, Brendan Sanders, and Alec Newton with the four goals. Midland High has had Greg Landis and Tyler Pritchett as the two goal scorers in the game. Midland High trying to work all the way down is Luke Trombley, and Trombley ends up losing the puck into the corner. Back into neutral ice. If you're the Dow High Chargers, do you change anything? Do you start playing more defensively in the final four minutes of this game, or do you keep doing what you've been doing the entire game? Well, one thing you do is you get it out of your zone at all costs, and you don't create turnovers between the blue lines. Anytime you're close to that red, you get the puck deep. You can still go be aggressive with the forecheck. Just don't get yourself trapped. Brendan Witt for the Midland High Chemex. Puck knocked away. Nice job there by Jeremy Brookins. Dow High will come away with it. Nathan Painter hit up against the boards on the near side. Nice job there by Kiwi getting his stick on the puck so Midland High could not capitalize on the deep pass. Three minutes to go and a two-goal lead for the Dow High Chargers. We've got a penalty coming up. Oh, they're going to call a trip on that one. I hate those. Witt, uh, he drew the trip. Now well, that's going to put Joey Johnson in the penalty box for the Dow High Chargers. Yeah, from my angle, it, I mean, they were just both turning yeah, and going incidental, but... That's, that's a, uh, that let's, that, let's see, he, that's a tough oh, penalty. Yeah, that's a tough penalty because you're going to play the puck. I don't know if tough. he thought he stuck his back leg out, that's but from tough. this angle, it really didn't look like he stuck his leg out. Yeah. Timeout being called by, I assume, Midland High, although I did not see who got. Uh, well, yeah, you had your number one scoring line on the ice. Um, yeah, I was trying to hear the same thing. I'm guessing it's the Chemex because you had your number one scoring line on the ice there for a good 30, 40 seconds there. They were tired. You want them to have the majority of this power play to see if they can make this a 4-3 game while you still have some time left to get that second goal. Well, there's the, uh, the officiating crew. So far tonight, they've done a pretty good job. We can, uh, we can uh, you know, be an armchair quarterback up here that that last tripping call may, be a, may have been a little uh, a gift for, you know, possibly, but... Nonetheless, you know, they've done a, a, a great job. Yeah, I mean, definitely they've done a really good job. They've been consistent. They haven't leaned one team or the other. They've only tried to call the calls that were there, weren't making anything up. And, you know, from our angle, you could definitely tell it looked like it was a innocent enough play from his angle, though. May have looked like his leg was back just a little bit and created the trip. And angles are everything when it comes uh, to officiating. So right now we've got just under three minutes to play. We've got the Dow High Chargers leading 4-2, to two, and Midland High will be on a power play. If you're Steve Witt in the Chemex, uh, you know, what are you doing, and are you thinking about pulling your goalie at any time? Well, you know, if, if you can maintain attacking zone presence, you can. But Midland High has yet to really be able to establish that attacking zone presence. So you don't want your goalie out there unless you can set up camp. Now Midland does indeed win the faceoff. Luke Trombley. Dishes it over against the boards. So far, Liam Grady remains in net, centering it up, looking for Greg Landis, but it's knocked away, and the Dow High Chargers will clear it. Well, Dow High did a nice job of clamping down deep in the circle and making sure they weren't getting those second and third opportunities. Midland Highs will go to Brendan Witt. Witt skates it across the blue line. Working down into the corner. Back up against the board again for Midland. Now gives it to Nathan Witt. Nathan is the freshman. Center through the net off, uh, off of where it needs to be. 
And they're going to keep the face off inside, so it was Dow High that created the stoppage of play. Yeah, Jeremy Flaver knocked the uh, net off inadvertently. Not always bad to get a whistle with that either. Well, sometimes it's that, you know, accidentally on purpose. That that time it was not. That that time no, Flaver no. just backed into it. Sometimes the goalies try to knock it off and make it look like an accident. Two minutes to go in the game. One minute to go in the Midland High power play. Dow High leading 4-2. to two. Kimmich working it across. Trombley shot off mark, but the rebound it's is in, it's in. in. And the Landis. Kimmich goal. Trombley just trying to keep that puck deep. He knows these boards are lively here in the Midland Civic Arena. So he throws it in. Short side right into Landis. I'm not sure Landis in his angle. Either he was one heck of a shot or he used Slazer as a rebound. Well, let's see if we can find out here. And yeah, Trombley just put in the puck at net. Landis, right spot, right time. He's going to throw it up. Might even been the Dow player that got a stick on it. Yeah. It's hard to tell from that angle, but nonetheless, it's in the back of the net. We got ourselves a one-goal game with a buck 49 to go. Power play goal. Greg Landis with his second goal of the night for the Midland High Chemex, and now it's a one-goal game with 1.38 to go. Bound for an exciting finish here at the Park Place Homes Arena. Midland High with the puck. Greg Landis, and that tripping call becomes a little bit bigger now that the Midland High Chemex capitalized on it. Without and a you, doubt. And you mentioned both of these teams know this arena. The puck is deflected off of the uh, off of the netting. Both of these teams play their games here, so they, they know that the boards here are a little more lively than what some arenas have. Oh, really? They, I mean, that could be a set play at times. You see, you're not going to be able to get the puck over to Landis, so why not throw it off the boards, have it pop out to him? A minute 12 to go. Midland High has already used their timeout. Store the one-timer that is stopped by the Midland High's defense. Landis with the puck for the Kimmicks. Yep, look for Grady to get off here real quick. Get the extra attacker. Matt he is. working. Grady goes, so the Kimmicks will have a one-man advantage. Empty net for the Chargers. They're kept in play nicely. A great job there by Dylan Sarine. So Ryan, however, can't find a handle on it. Now the Dow High Chargers will skate down and great defense made by Brendan Witt, not allowing uh, the Dow High's Brendan Sanders to get any kind of an open shot at the empty net. 30 seconds to go. Across the middle goes Brendan Witt. Witt ends up uh, being stopped by Dow High's defense. Brendan Holbrook doing a nice job defensively. Down to 20 seconds. The puck is off. The puck is off, and that will stop what could have been a Kimmich scoring opportunity. Yeah, again, I thought it was a quick whistle there because the puck, obviously, from our angle, wide open. The play blown dead. Now the net, the was, net was off. The there net you was go. off. Yep. So that's why we had the early whistle. Well, face-offs again. Let's take a look. Uh, puck laying there, puck laying there. Well, the net's still... Well, I think the net was already off at that time. Yep, the net was already off at that time. So now Dow High going to take advantage of their timeout and drop this this draw, giving Midland High the opportunity to make sure they got their number one scoring unit back on the ice as well. 20 seconds to go. If you're just tuning in and you want to watch this game in its entirety, you can do so on a Charter MPS Channel 189, also on AT&T UVerse on Channel 99. The times will be Wednesday, February 1st at 8 o'clock, February 2nd, 8, February 3rd at 8 o'clock. The game will also be available in the very near future on the uh, Midland Public School YouTube channel where if you've got the uh, right capabilities, you'll be able to uh, stream the game in high definition. Make that uh, smart TV that you got for Christmas uh, work the way it's supposed to and you can stream us online in high def. As the Kimmicks and the Chargers battle it out here in ice hockey. We've got boys and girls basketball coming up this weekend as well. And then next week, we've got high school swimming here on MPF. So a, a busy February for MCTV's uh, crew. And, of course, we invite you to join MCTV. Volunteers are always needed. Here we go, 17 seconds on the clock. 
one goal lead. Midland High has pulled their goalie. Man advantage for the Chemex, and we've got a whistle because again, the net is off. They gotta put some uh, better uh, stock in the, keeping the net on. Yeah, they need to wet down those spikes or something, but 10 seconds left, not gonna matter much today. But uh, Dow High with a critical win on that faceoff. Midland High at least was able to get the puck back for an opportunity. Everything's hinged on this draw right here. 10 seconds to go. Chargers looking to hold on. Midland looking to uh, tie it up. Five seconds. Dow High with the puck. They just got to hold on to it, and they do. And the Dow High Chargers will come away with the win over Midland High. Four to three. A little extracurricular stuff. Brendan Witt is not happy. Brendan Witt uh, being kept back by the officials. He wants to uh, have a little conversation, and there's a little taunting by one of the uh, Dow High Chargers, uh, Brendan Holbrook and Brendan Witt. Uh, well, both, both fought hard today. They will get their composure and shake hands as tradition. So the Dow High Chargers will have a 4-3 to three victory over the Midland High Chemex in the second period. That's really the, uh, the, the tail of the tape. Uh, the first period pretty much even, but the second period, the Dow High Chargers scored three unanswered goals and Midland High unable to come back. Yeah, without a doubt, um, Dow High just, you know, they picked one period to actually shine, and that was the second period. Threw the puck on net quite a bit, rewarded for their efforts. Other than that, first and third, fairly even. Yeah, a lot of people uh, will get credit for some goals. Fred Kelly's been by our side the entire game. Be sure to check out his article in the Midland Daily News. We'll recap the uh, scoring here. It uh, started back in the first period. Dow High scoring first. Josh Storer getting the goal for Dow High. Midland answered about five minutes later on a Greg Landis goal. Then those three unanswered goals for the Dow High Chargers in the second period. Brendan Holbrook scoring Brendan Sanders and Alec Newton picking up the goals. Midland High late in the third period with Tyler Pritchett picking up a goal for Midland. But the uh, Dow High Chargers had that three goal advantage going into the third period, uh, or the two goal advantage going into the third period. That deficit cut down uh, late in the game. Greg Landis picking up his second goal on the power play for the Midland High Chemex. But a, uh, an exciting finish to the contest, Vesey, here tonight. And the uh, Dow High using the second period, but Midland High not giving up whatsoever. Well, I mean, Coach blazy has got a 4-1 to lead in the second period. His boys kind of laid back a little bit. Midland High finally said, hey, it's now or never. They got that critical second goal, you know, to, before the second period ended. They were able to come out and be the aggressor in the third, and uh, darn near tied this thing up. Yeah, but the Dow High Chargers give the Chargers a lot of credit, especially offensively in that second period where they just pounded and pounded and pounded Liam Grady, scoring those three unanswered goals, and uh, that was a big turning point of this contest. Oh, with, without a doubt. I mean, the second and the third opportunities, and they were, you know, they were bearing it, but it wasn't just the, the second and third opportunities. They were throwing the puck at net, and they were getting redirects. I mean, just great net presence from Dow High in that second period. It just everybody having a great time, you know, trying to score. Well, let's take a look at uh, some of the highlights of the contest here tonight between the uh, Chemex and the Chargers. This, uh, this is Dow High. This is Josh Storer, the first That's goal the of first the game. That's the first goal of the game. Just a lot of traffic up front. Grady, you can see, he doesn't really see that puck until it's too late. So and right now you're going to see the second. Trombley is going to throw it at net, and Landis is going to be in the right spot, right time to help redirect. That tied it up one to one at the end of the first period. Then Brendan Holbrook for uh, for Dow. Now that's uh, another sh look at the Midland High Greg Landis shot. Yep, but right here you're going to see Holbrook, right place, right time. Do you see he gets that he gets that puck and he doesn't tee it up. He just a nice little wrister, beating him glove side just inside the upper corner. That's a really pretty shot by Brendan. Then the power play goal for the Chargers. Brendan Sanders all by himself. Yep, wide open. You know, a nice crossing pass. Grady just left out to dry on that one. And speaking of right place, right time, Alec Newton. Yep, nice redirect in front. Holbrook throws it at the net. Nice redirect. And then Midland High with Tyler Pritchett. Off the post and in. Make that thing four to two. Critical, critical goal at this stage of the game because the three goal lead going to the third. Very hard to overcome. 
and then the power play that Off pulled the Midland within one. Not sure how that actually got in, but uh, Landis supplied the power, so he'll get credited with the goal. Yeah, that, that weird uh, push off of the board, and Greg Let's Landis. see if this angle might do us a little better here. It's off the boards right here, right to Landis. He, he, just, he actually got kind of got more uh, of the stick on the puck than what I thought and kind of just tucked it around the corner. Yeah, I mean, that was just a nice job by Landis. It wasn't the defender that put it in. What Landis a, doing all the work. Very nice goal. What a great job by our uh, MCTV uh, staff and uh, volunteers there putting together all of those uh, goals. All of the goals scored in the game in one little package. And a great job by the crew. The, the Dow High Chargers, they'll have a little bit of momentum going into the uh, postseason. The Dow High improving to 11-6 and six with the victory. Dow High now 3-1 and one in the Saginaw Valley. The Midland High Chemics dropping down to 7-11-1. and one. They are now 2-3 and three in the uh, Saginaw Valley. Still a lot of hockey to be played. Uh, you know, we got two or three more weeks of hockey before the postseason. But, uh, you know, the Dow High Chargers right now they are playing hockey the way you want to be playing in the last quarter of the season. Without a doubt, if I'm Dickie Blazy, you're going to keep doing what you're doing good, but you're going to make sure that you got to show up every period and compete. And you know, I think in the third period they kind of laid back on them their heels a little bit. Found out Midland High wasn't going to allow that to happen, but other than that, Dow High really played a good game. And there's a, a definite possibility that these two teams could be meeting again when the postseason comes around. The pre-regional will be the last week in February in Gladwin. Dow High will play a, a Tuesday night against Essexville Garber. The winner of that will take on Midland High, who drew a first round bye. This is going to wrap it up here for our ice hockey coverage this winter. In a couple of moments, you're going to see several names come across your television screen. If you know any of these individuals, be sure to stop by and tell them thanks for bringing high school sports to MCTV. This could not be done without the help of all of our volunteers. There's a, a look at those uh, hardworking men and women uh, on your television screen right now. The Dow High Chargers coming away. They take advantage of a big second period to pick up the win here at the Park Place Homes Arena inside the Midland Civic Arena. Dow High coming away with the victory over the Midland High Chemex. And uh, for Northwood coach Mike Vesna and our entire MCTV crew, my name is Jason Harper. Thank you for joining us here tonight for Chemex and Charger Hockey.